Hello, everyone. Welcome to Flexlets, Summer Learning with CK12. I'm Lindsay, and my colleague Carl and I will be running today's webinar with the help of many of our CK12 team members. We're glad you've joined us, and we're looking forward to an interactive session. Just a few housekeeping items. We have two different windows in Zoom that we're using for today's webinar. If you have any questions that you want the CK12 team to answer, either by text or in a demo, please type those in the Q&A window. We'll be pausing occasionally to field some of those questions, and then we always stay on at the end to answer any unanswered questions as well. The second window that you should see is the chat window. This is a place for community conversation. Um, you all are already doing a great job with this. Please keep introducing yourselves. This is a great place to network, to share ideas. Just make sure in the chat window that you're sending your messages to all panelists and attendees. You have to actively change that to all panelists and attendees so that everyone can see your comments. Um, finally, we would like to remind everyone that an archived video of today's webinar will be available tomorrow at ck12.org slash webinars. So you can rewatch any part of the webinar or even share it with your friends and colleagues. Now, uh, let me turn it over to Carl, who's going to tell us what all we'll be learning in today's webinar. Great. Thanks so much, Lindsay. And well, you know, I just want to talk for a moment and recognize what a year it's been so far. Hats off to all the educators and parents who have worked together to make learning work. And so many of you have worked tirelessly um, to make sure that students continue to learn. So congratulations to everybody. And today I can see a special shout out to all of um, people across the United States, plus Canada and Serbia and India around the world joining us to really kind of learn more about this new exciting product from CK12 that wants the learning con to continue this summer for our students. So let's get started. So CK12 is excited to offer our brand new Flexlets that we've decided, uh, designed to help your students throughout the summer to review what they learned this year and to get ready for the next school year. These Flexlets offer assignments and activities to keep students engaged and support learning at any level. We'll show you how to support your students with these Flexlets to keep the learning going. For those of you that would like additional support, we offer flexlets through our classes and assignment features. This will help you track your students' progress as they learn throughout the summer. Finally, we will cover how you can help CK12 spread the word about flexlets. We've created a great way to learn and we need your help telling others about this exciting new product from CK12. The Flexlix, like all of our resources on CK12, are totally free. You won't see any advertising on our site, and you'll never hit a paywall. There isn't an upgraded version that you have to subscribe to. CK12 is free for everybody, and Flexlix are continue that idea and, of course, are free. So let's dig in right now to learn more about Flexlix. We're going to begin with learning how to support our children and students with Flexlix. And so this is what probably a parent would do, or if you're a teacher and you want to support some students over the summer, this would be exactly what you need to do. A few months ago, our great content team here at CK12 started to deeply think about what students are going to need this summer after a pretty crazy year in preparation for a new school year. What they came up with brings together the best of the CK12 learning platform, quality content, great interactives, and our intelligent adaptive practice. Then they packaged it in what we're calling Flexlets. So our summer Flexlets will help your student review math and science they've been learning. It will also preview some important topics that they will face in the coming school year. Here you can see for math, we have Flexlets for prepping for seventh and eighth grades, preparing for high school math, or reviewing algebra, or reviewing geometry. And for science, we offer Flexlets which will help review and prep for courses like Earth, Life, and Physical Science, and then of course, Biology, Chemistry, and Physics. So we've got the, the 
subjects covered for middle school and high school to get your middle school and high school students really thinking about and maintaining and keeping their brain active over the summer. So to begin with, we thought it would be best to hear from two people that have been an important part of creating these flexlets. For math, we have Laramie Spence, and for science, Heather Douglas. Laramie, can you please tell us more about how you put together the math flexlets and how students should use them? Sure, thanks Carl. Hi everybody, I'm Laramie Spence. I am the math content lead at CK12. And my team and I created the math flexlets after we discussed the unexpected uh, educational challenges <laughs> that students, parents, and teachers kind of ran into the last few months of this, uh, this school year. We chose the lessons from our newest and most advanced courses, and we carefully selected the lessons that would give the students both a summary review of past content from sort of the end of the year that got modeled, and also a preview of the upcoming material that they're liable to see in their next school, uh, next school year. All the Flexlet lessons are deeply interactive and they're very engaging. They all include inline questions that have immediate instructional feedback, and all of them have additional resources and support material for parents and for teachers to help students go through it. Middle school students will choose the Flexlet that's related to the grade they're headed into. For example, a student who just completed sixth grade would use the Prep for Seventh Grade Flexlet, and it'll cover both the review material from grade six and also give them some kind of a preview of grade seven. On the other hand, high school students would choose the Flexlet titled with the class they just completed. So a student who just finished Algebra One would choose the Algebra Review Flexlet since it's going to review the Algebra One content and will preview a little bit of geometry and for uh, also some Algebra Two. That way there's a little flexibility as far as what their next class may be. As the student starts, the first thing they should do is just review the lesson from top to bottom, go through the interactives and watch the videos, do the adaptive practice, and make sure that their goal is to be able to do all of the easy and medium questions that pop up. That way the practice can help fill in the gaps along the way in their learning. Every flex will have about 20 to 30 lessons total, and each of those lessons will take about 45 minutes or so, including the practice. Thanks, Carl. Great. Thanks so much, Laramie. I know you guys have worked hard on your flex lists and that they, I think, will prove to be really valuable aids. Up next, we have CK12 science lead Heather Douglas to tell us about the science flex lists. Hi. Thanks, Carl. Um, as Carl said, I'm the science product manager at CK12. My team and I put together these uh, courses, or sorry, these flex lists, based on the most used concepts that we have across each of the courses. So depending on, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, so we, the domain experts and teachers carefully selected lessons that would give students a summary of the past, summary and review of past content and preview the upcoming material. Um, so these are meant to be more of like a crash course in whatever the topic is. Um, so we encourage you using these for the upcoming course that your students might be going into and not the course that they just finished. Again, they could also be used if a student really struggled this past year and you wanna get them caught up, this is an option as well. Uh, they're a little different from math in that they have smaller lessons. So in an hour, we expect students to complete two to three of the lessons or concepts. Um, and so, that also makes them a little more flexible. You can choose to reduce the number or increase the number based on the speed that your student can work at. And thank, that's all. Great. And the other thing I'll point out is if, in, for example, in middle school or in high school, you've done some version of integrated, it's really easy for teachers to pull together the topics, the key topics that we've put into the flexlets and package them in, in the way that you need them. Because everything is customizable on CK12. So even if you don't teach, for example, in middle school, you don't teach separately life science or earth science or physical science, it's really easy to pull out the uh, lessons that you need for your students. So 
Um, we're going to move on now and say thanks to both Heather and Laramie, and they will both stay on to answer your questions in the Q&A window. Once again, if you have questions, rather than putting them in the chat window, it helps us if, we, if you can put them in the Q&A window. And we have a lot of people helping out today to answer your questions. We will be taking some time during the webinar, too, to answer some questions. All right, as a parent, I am constantly looking for resources that can help my son, but aren't going to be a lot of work for me, the parent. He's the one that needs to do learning, not me. I have a few other jobs to do. So here are four steps to get you and your child up and running using our FlexLits. And if you're a teacher at this point, these are the types of things that you can share with your parents. And we'll talk more of that um, a little bit later in the webinar. So the first step is to choose which flexlet is the right one for your student. Start with one, like in math or in science, and then maybe after you get some momentum, add in their other one, like for science, if they did a math one first. Browse all the options, maybe, and ask your student or your child which one they'd like to start with. Give them some choice. Then the next thing I'd really suggest is you ask them what time of day would they like to do their flexlet. I'm sure many of you have gotten used during the, um, you know, the closure of schools of picking times to do schoolwork. And I think this can happen also over the summer. Um, obviously, morning times might be a little bit easier before the day starts. Um, you maybe pick a time before you do the CK12 flexlet work before you turn on the Xbox kind of thing. So I, I always love ideas like that. Um, schedule the time, help them stick to that time, and help them create the habit of practicing. You can use the table of content on the Flexbook that they're using to show the, what they've started, and also it gives a glimpse of what they have done already. So to see how deep they got into a concept or where if they got, for example, to medium and hard questions, you'll have to click into the lesson and, um, and check out the practice that they did. To make your life easier, we're constantly thinking of ways to kind of make this no touch for parents or really easy to implement because there's a lot going on in your lives. So one thing that you can do is you can um, have the students do the adaptive practice. And for example, here, let's take a look at what this student did. So it looks like they got 10 correct. And um, they, if you look at the bottom there in the circles, they got 10 correct, but it took them 17 questions to get 10 correct. Of those questions, they were served up nine easy ones and got 13 of those correct, but no mediums and they got one hard, uh, four hard served up and they got one right. So I would say this student might need to keep on practicing, okay? They did reach the goal, the practice goal of getting 10 correct, but you know they might need some guidance from you, the parent, to say, hey, do you think you learned it? Because according to the skill level meter up here, it, it still says you're developing. Um, and I think as a parent, it might be wise to sit down with your student and have them review this. But one of the things that I'm offering to you as an idea is if the students, for example, practicing and maybe you're off at work, just have them take a camera phone or a tablet or something and take a picture of this exact screen and share it with you. And this might be the easiest way as the student completes more and more lessons then, they're constantly sending you these pictures showing how they did, not just that they completed it, but indeed, did they really learn it? And so I think that's, that's really important. So they definitely, this student probably needs to keep um, putting in a little more effort on this concept. So we also offer a special guide in each flexlet for the students and also one for parents. And you'll see even one for um, teachers too. So let's go look, let's go live to the site, look at what's happening, and then we can see how to use these. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal the screen here. And let's go. And at this point, you should be seeing my screen and I'm logged in as my son, Corbin because I wanted you to see the student view, because this is really a, an activity for the students. So when your student's logged in, and they can log in using uh, any kind of you know, username and password, it doesn't have to be an email address, they can log in with Google stuff and a variety of other ways. But once they get here, you're gonna see this link right here, Flex Your Brain This Summer. And let's click on Learn More to find out. 
So here we are, and this is what I call the FlexLit Browse page. And if you come down here, you're gonna see all of the FlexLix currently available for middle school and high school. Unfortunately, we don't have them available for, um, for the uh, elementary grades right now. Um, you might wanna take a look at a lot of the topics in here if your, your child's in fifth grade, might be able to do some of these things. Um, so we've got, as I said, for math, and here we have for science. So let's go in here and take a, th take a look at the one for math. So when you enter, this is the table of contents. And you're going to see here there are four academic chapters. And then this one is the same in all the flex books, uh, flexlets. And it gives information, for example, of students, how to use this book. And then specifically for math, they offer some other kind of hints on using it. And then for parents, here's a parent guide for helping parents implement this with their students. And we'll let you go through. And a lot of what we cover today is mentioned here too. But we, you know, it's a great place to use as a resource. And we've included this as the first chapter to get the students started and to also get the parents started. Um, because we want to make this work. We want your summer to be one where your student is able to catch up and fill in some gaps and get ready for the next year. So let's go out here and I'm going to go back to the table of contents. All right, and so let's go take a look here. And you can see that Corman has already started and started in on two of the eight lessons. Okay, so this is something that helps you monitor their progress. And if I open this up, yeah, I can see here that Corbin received 100%. And think of this like an effort grade. The goal is that they do 10 questions correct. Now, I'm going to go in as a parent right now and just go click here. And let's go see how he did. So I'm going to click the Start button. And here's a, the fantastic lesson that our content team has made and it has interactives, it has inline questions, um, little widgets for fun things to try. So we're really actively helping the student review this content. And then when they get to the bottom and they've reviewed all this, they're going to go do the practice. So right here, it's going to say start practice. But if they've already done the practice, you can click on review report. But the, the idea here is try to encourage them to go do the lesson first and don't just jump right into the practice because it'll take them a long, much longer time to achieve a skill level of proficiency, proficient or mastery if they have, it'll take them much longer if they've jumped right into it and they still have gaps. So let's go take a look at Corbin's report here. So this is the way I can see Corbin's report. And, you know, he has the option of taking his camera phone and taking a picture of it and sending it to me. But as a parent, I can go in on his computer and I can see this exactly. So let's see here. It looks like Corbin did really well. He got 10 out of 11 questions correct. Seven of them of the correct ones were easy. Two were medium and one was hard. And he did achieve the mastery level and he spent five minutes. The time spent is also another interesting indicator to show how, how, much, how, the, how much effort they put into this. And then you can actually scroll down and see all of their answers and find out where they struggled. So for example, here I can see that Corbin typed um, this answer first and obviously had made a mistake. And on the second try, he got this answer. So there's a lot of information that's available here through the student's account, okay? And the student, you can maybe sit down with your student once a week or every night before dinner, whenever it works to, to go ahead and get feedback. And I wanted to show you a little bit further here, like let's say this was the feedback here, and you can see in this um, Flexlet, they've done a lot of work already, but one of the things I wanna show you is let's go into this unit. And I'm going to view the report. So here you can see that they spent two minutes on it. So I'm kind of wondering about that. And I might talk to them because they answered 10 questions. But you know, it, it's the kind of thing you need to make the story and kind of see, did the student really learn this? Because sometimes they get the 100% of answering 10 questions. 
and maybe they didn't quite learn it. So here's an example of that. They did answer 10 questions, so they got that practice goal of 100%, but they had to answer 10, they had to answer 17 questions to get 10 correct. So this is an example where they're still developing and maybe you as a parent might need to encourage them to say, hey, you might wanna go spend some more time practicing. And then along the way, the CK12 adaptive practice will help fill in any gaps that you have. And hopefully in the end, they will see this as a really good way to help them fill in their gaps and to get ready for different things in the next year. And it, you know, by keeping their brain alive, by working and doing some work every day, or at least Monday through Friday, their brains won't kind of atrophy and they will be able to, to do great in the fall. And you know, we're, we don't know exactly what school's gonna look like in the fall. And you know, a lot of people are talking about, it's probably gonna look like a little bit of online learning and a little bit of in-person learning. And, and who knows, depending on where you live in the world, what that's going to look like. But the work that they've done on CK12 will be really good at reinforcing whatever direction, you know, things happen in the fall. So this is, this is a great example of using the FlexLits. You've got, you know, a lot of great content here with interactives, like I said, and then the student does the practice and is able to share that with you, the parent, to make sure that they are, um, achieving what you want them to do. So that's our little overview of the FlexLits here. And I think, you know, the key thing to do is just create the habit with them. Go ahead and help them figure out which FlexLit is appropriate for them and then carving out the time to do it. And then making sure you're not just getting 100% effort on the lesson, but really the numbers and the, you know, the data shows that they've learned what they're supposed to. So at this point, I'm going to go back to the presentation and we're going to go um, talk about using CK12 assignments with Flexlets, which I think is the next page here. There we go. All right. And the benefit of doing this is it's going to give the parents or if it's a teacher kind of organizing this it's going to give you additional information and allow you to structure it so that you log in on your own account and you can assign things to your students so let's go review how we might do this right now so so far the way we've described this has your student logging in and you the parent or teacher does not log in okay unless you go to their computer so if you, the parent, also want to log in, you can be in charge of the work that the student does, and then you can see the progress without having them, like, having to text you pictures of their results. So here is an overview of the extra steps that you would take if you'd like to manage their pro uh, pro progress on CK12. Remember, this part is optional, but it gives you more control and more information. So the first thing you will do is you will log in with your credentials and set up a class on CK12. And so, uh, and then you will add in your student as the member of that class. So you're, you're only going to have one student in the class. And then you will navigate over to the Flexlet and you will assign specific lessons in the order that you want to your student. You will also be able to assign the start and stop dates. And I would suggest having of different start dates and then that way it'll it'll sort the list you know that in the order that they appear in the flex list. okay finally then after they do it you can click on reports in classes to see this progress and this is really wonderful because this is where you're going to be able to click in whenever you want from work or from wherever you can click in and you can see the progress you're, that they're making. You can even get all that same information of how much time was spent, what skill level they've gotten to, and even which questions they missed and which ones they got right. So there's a whole wealth of information that if you assign the FlexLit lesson to your student through a CK12 class, then you have the ability to track all that information. And a lot of parents probably are just going to say, I don't have time to do that. And that's why we suggested the first method, which is just have the student independently work on their computer and maybe send you some pictures of their results. 
Also, there's some additional information available in the lesson. If you click into the lesson showing you, you know, things like time on lesson, and we even have this histogram feature that you can see exactly what they did in the lesson and where they spent time. So there's a lot of great things here, but you, you have to learn, you know, the CK12 platform. And a lot of you as teachers already know this, so that won't be a problem. But for a parent, it is learnable and we have a lot of webinars. If you go to our webinar page, um, you can go find out more things like setting up a class. We also have an outstanding help desk. And if you click help at the top, you're going to see step by step, you know, guide to helping you set up a class, adding a student in the class. All the things that I've just mentioned are all outlined in our help desk. All right, and then finally, through that, of course, what I mentioned before, you have access to the same information here about the time spent, which questions they got wrong, et cetera, the practice results. So if you choose to use classes and assignments, there's a few things to learn, but the payoff is big here for the, for the parent or teacher. All right. So finally, I'd like to share with you a few ways you can help us at CK12 by sharing Flexlets with your friends and family. For teachers, we ask that you email all the parents of your current students and share the exact URL of the Flexlet that works best for the course that you've taught this year. Tell them about the parent guide, which is in that first chapter of Getting Started, which will teach them how to guide their students. Another thing you could do is you could share the archived recording of this webinar right now and it will be available tomorrow on the webinars page. So I think by sharing this information with your parents and tell them, you know, Carl was you know, talking about this and it doesn't look like a lot of work for you um, as the teacher, as the parent, but it gets your kid learning. And that's really what we all want. Um, finally, for parents, we encourage you to email your friends and family right now to get their own kids practicing this summer using Flexlets. The idea here is it's a great resource and please go tap into your networks of friends and family and share this and say, hey, you might wanna look into this for your kids this summer. It looks like a great way to help people, um, you know, continue the learning over the summer. And our, our goal here is that let's get everybody ready for the next school year. Finally, we would love it if you would write a Facebook um, or a Twitter post about Flexlets um, and using them with your students. Make sure that you tag us at CK12 Foundation or also type in the hashtags Flexlet and Summer Learning. And this helps us spread the word. We really do appreciate it because, you know, it's one thing for Carl um, on a Tuesday to be talking about it, but to hear it from, you know, from, from somebody you know, and to hear, oh yeah, this is a great thing, and it's free, and it's effective, and my kids' brains didn't atrophy over the summer. So that about wraps up our first look into CK12's newest product, the Flexlet for Summer Learning. We hope you've enjoyed our overview and are anxious to get started um, with your students. Lindsay, can you tell us about the other webinars coming up here? And then we'll wrap things up, say goodbye to anybody who needs to leave, and then we're gonna stay on and answer all of your questions in the Q&A window. Absolutely, so keep your questions coming in. Again, anything that our team can answer, type it into the Q&A window. Um, but we did wanna talk you through um, an exciting opportunity to, be, to become one of our CK12 certified educators. Um, we are getting ready to launch a series of three webinars and you can attend all of these individually if you would like, or if you want to attend all three of these, you're able to join our certified educator program by doing some matching assignments and doing a couple of online videos. Um, you're able to, to string those together and become um, an alumni. So the first webinar that we have is this Thursday actually at one o'clock Pacific time. And then you can see that the following two Thursdays, also at one o'clock Pacific time, we have webinars um, the first one is about our Flexbook 2.0 platform. Um, this webinar was just a short 30 minute overview about Flexlets. This one's gonna be about an hour long, talking you through all of the features that our Flexbooks offer. 
Um, the next webinar is on customizing CK12 Flexbooks and adaptive practice. Again, another hour long webinar. Um, there's lots you can do to customize Flexbooks to um, localize them for your um, specific area, your specific students. Um, and you can also customize adaptive practice into quizzes. And then the third in the series is strategies for using CK12. We kind of bring it all together and talk to you about the most effective ways to use all of the strategies, um, all of the strategies for, for the different uh, platform and adaptive practice. So um, register for one, register for all of them. Go to ck12.org slash webinars. If you're looking for more information on our certified educator program, you can go to ck12.org slash certified. And so we're going to go ahead and thank you. Anybody who needs to jump off the webinar, um, we've reached that 30-minute mark. You're welcome to go ahead and um, head off. Thank you so much for joining us today. As you work on CK12, if you have any support needs, please email support at ck12.org. Uh, we try to be very responsive and get to all of your questions in a timely fashion. And then as Carl mentioned, we are on the socials at CK12 Foundation. So why don't I turn it back over to Carl, who's been looking at the Q&A window, and we'll see what questions you have. Sure. Um, let's see here. I, the first thing I want to do is do a brief little demo of how easy it is to set up your kid in a CK-12 class. So I, I'm going to go here to the main page, and I'm now logged in as a teacher. So, uh, and I'm on the wrong keyboard. There we go. That's why. All right, so let's go take a look here. So this is my home page, and I, I have the option of going under my name up here. I can go to my classes, and because our demo account has been very active, we have lots of, lots of accounts, but I'm going to show you from the classes page how easy this would be. So I'm going to click here on the plus symbol, and I'm going to create a class, and I'm going to call this Corbin's um, Summer practice flex flex all right create a class it's that simple and then once i have the class there it tells me i don't have any members yet i'm going to add some students and so i can invite students by email i can give them a little code so i'm going to do that so i'm literally i'm just going to copy this right here and i'm going to paste it in and in an email to Corbin and it has like an access code that will get him very quickly and uh, very quickly involved here. So that's really easy. He'll be added here as a student and then I can go create some assignments. So why don't I go now and navigate over to the Flexlets and show you how you do that. So let's go pick that out and let's go, let's say he's going into high school this next year. So he'll be using this flexlet right here. So let's see, is there anything I want him to look at here? Yeah, probably this getting started right here and then maybe the tips and tricks. So I'm gonna assign the getting started um, practice to him, assign, and on CK12, and it's Corbin summer practice. And it requires me to put a due date, which I'm gonna say is Friday, assign. So it's that easy to go pick lessons. And I'm going to go maybe choose the first in this arithmetic lesson here. And let's go start. And then I click assign. And I know I'm doing this really fast now, but I wanted to show you how, how easy it is and that it is possible if you'd like to do it. But if you, it's perfectly fine to also just say, you know what, I'm going to go check on their computer every couple of days. But other than that, I think it's fine. So once again, you click assign and on CK12, you choose the class, which in this case is Corbin Summer Practice, and I'm gonna have that be due on Monday. One thing that you can offer your students is if you want them to see the correct answers after they finish with the practice, you're gonna click show answers right here. And that's it. So it's that simple if that, if you choose to set up your student on CK12, that's kind of an overview of how you did it. I talked about it, and then I just quickly showed you right there. And they'll, when they log into CK12 and they go to that class, they'll get a notification that, you know, that Carl has made a new assignment for you that they want you to do, and it's due on Friday, et cetera. So there's, a, there's an extra layer of support from CK12 if you want it.
All right, Lindsay, other questions? I think we've about cleared out our Q&A. Um, again, you might show them where they can find the help desk information on the main site, um, as well as the webinars page, and we'll see if any other final questions come in. Sure. So when I'm on many of the pages on CK12, the help desk is right up here, help. And one of the things that you're going to want to do is click on as parents and teachers. And then a lot of the things that I talked about, you know, how to create a class, how to create assignments. And there's, there's a whole bunch of really useful information in here to get you going if you want that. You can also take a look at our many different um, webinars that we've done. And so if you, I like to go from the homepage. I love this explore menu right here because it gives me access to a lot of the great resources available on CK12. And at the bottom down here, you're going to see an option that is webinars. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this is where you have access to signing up for future webinars and which you can see right now, this is the one we're currently in, but also the upcoming ones. I'm going to get rid of this window, but also you can look at all the archived ones and really watch that. Like you might want to watch this. If, if you're going to be using this this summer with your students, you might want to watch our kind of introductory um, webinar on, for example, CK12, the 2.0 learning platform, or using our adaptive practice, et cetera. So there's a ton of really great information here that um, we offer. Of course, all our professional development is also free, and it's just we're trying to, you know, get everybody learning throughout the year and, and realize we're not going to take the flex lists away in the, at the end of the summer. We're going to offer those continually and maybe even make more for the future where it's an idea, it's a, not a whole course, but just kind of a quick, you know, review or prep for a new course. So, Can you show everybody again what their easiest access is to the Flexbooks? Sure. So for right now, during the summer here, click on our homepage and click the very first thing at the top is going to be learn more. And that's going to get you into the Flexlit browse page. It'll also talk about the upcoming um, webinars, which you guys have just watched today. The, the future webinars will be very similar to this one. So you don't need to come back and, and do those if you've already done it today. But they're a great opportunity to share with other people saying, hey, and I, I love that one of the, in the chat window, somebody talked about, I've already shared this with my, my um, teacher friends. And I'm, I really appreciate that because that's what we'd love everyone to do. We think it's a pretty great thing here. So we'd love to have you share it with your network. Okay, I think we have reached the end of today's webinar. Again, thank you all so much for joining us. You can email support at ck12.org if you have any further questions. And we wish you a good day, a good evening, um, good morning, wherever you are. And um, we hope to see you next time. Thanks. Excellent. Stay safe and healthy, everybody.